I like failing. I like failing over and over again until I actually make it. Welcome to Engagement Experts. This is Five Minutes with Kieran O'Leary, Chief Operating Officer at Rovio. So, Kieran, when your parents ask you what you do, what do you tell them? What do you say? I I, I love that question because that that extends to way further than just my parents. But uh, generally, <laughs> what I do say, and I, I say to very high level, is that I. I support game teams in making successful products. We craft joy. Favorite work moment of all time? Um, I, I've had like a plethora of good moments at, at work, but I think the most memorable, and, and maybe because I was the new entrance in this fascinating industry, is the, the, the launch of the very first mobile game I was involved in, and, and that happened to be a real success. That was Dungeon Hunter 5. Back in the days, yeah. <laughs> So, Kieran, what's the best example of mobile user engagement you have personally experienced? Um, you mean as a player in this context? As a player, as a user, as a consumer, as a person, any app that you're using out there or any? Um, yeah, I, I, I think it's, it's, it's crazy. I'm a little bit old school and I, I love skill based games. Um, so, completing Mr. Auto Fire was something I am extremely proud of. I failed so many times. I spent so much time grinding this game. Then when I actually finished it, I, I <laughs> that, that felt amazing. How, how did um, they make you feel that? I, I think like again, I'm I'm very hardcore. Um, I am not the uh, average mobile game player. I like failing. I like failing over and over again until I actually make it. And, and this is this gratification of. It wasn't an easy win. Like I gave it all, and then this is how I, I made it. Wow! I like failing. I like failing over and over again until I succeed. That's amazing. <laughs> That's an incredible habit to have. Let's talk about your career for just half a second. You've been super successful. I mean, it's just obvious. Uh, Rovio is massive. Rovio is a global force. You're the COO, and you've had a stellar career even before that. Ever imagined you'd be where you are right now? Well, I I was certainly hoping for it. I, I don't think things uh, happen randomly, um, and I I did everything I could to, to make it happen. I I feel very glad that I'm achieving that now. I was seeing that happening in say five to seven years, but I I well I'm I'm feeling very grateful about it. Wonderful, excellent. So that's your personal growth. What's the most important thing a C level executive like yourself can do to help their company grow? So it's all all starts from the people. So it's about making sure that you, you find the right talents. Um, then it's about asking the right questions. Uh, there is a luxury in, in being an exec because you're you're not into the, the weeds of a project day in, day out, and that gives you some sort of perspective on things. So it's not about coming with statements. It's asking the right questions so that you can derive the, the good answers. And then, like maybe linking back to the to the topic of finding the right people, you, you need a vision that the entire company can rally behind. Love it. We ask everybody that comes on the show what they want their customers or their users or their players to feel when they've finished using the app and they close the app. And you know, maybe if that's fintech, maybe that's happiness, maybe that's a feeling of comfort, right? When somebody closes, they're finished a session in a Rovio app, what do you want them to feel? I think our mission statement says it all. Um, I want people to leave our games with a long lasting and joy. Okay. And those people, for, what do you call them? Those people who are those who are in your app? Are they users, consumers, players, people? They, they are players, and, and that's mm -hmm. also in the mission statements. We deliver player-focused um, gaming experiences. I really like that because I hate calling people users, uh, just as I hate calling people consumers in oh. market research or whatever. We are much more than that. And for you, the aspect that they bring to your game is that they're playing. They want to play. They want to have fun. So I love that you're actually making that clear. And let's uh, maybe end here. What's your top tip for marketers who want to boost customer retention? Um, what would that be? Um, again, like you say, identifying why your players engage in the, uh, the, the game in the first place. What are their motivations, needs, so that you, you can ensure to find the, the right people for the right products. Um, then 
you keep on providing the content that they were interested in the first place, you stick true to your DNA and you segment them as needed to make sure that even within this fairly consistent group, you address the, the very specific needs. Thank you, Kieran. You make that sound so simple and straightforward. <laughs> People are taking notes right now. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Absolutely. This has been awesome. And of course, this has been Engagement Experts, five minutes with the best marketers on the planet. Thank you, Kieran, and brought to you by Clever Tap Engage.